Is there any reason you're going so fast? <laughs> I got a doctor's appointment at 11. I gotcha. So you were doing 71 miles an hour. Where's the hospital or the clinic that you were going to? Uh, I think it's Van Zandt. Okay, right across from the banner? Yeah. Okay. You were driving way too fast. Okay. You didn't even realize it was just smooth sailing? Yeah. And you said you were late for your appointment or running late for your appointment, but it's at 11. It's only 10.30, girl. I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? So you don't know? I don't know how to time it. That's fair. That's fair. Did you realize you were doing 20 miles an hour over the posted speed limit? No. Got some Popeyes too? Yeah. yeah. Getting ready to grub? Yeah. I got you. I got a question for you, man. When was the last time you smoked? Uh, what was it? Not too long ago. Not too long ago? As in, how long ago? Uh, four hours ago. Four hours ago? Okay. I got you, man. I noticed right off the bat, kind of your eyes were a little sluggish and stuff. That's why I asked, okay? So this is a, a Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's very commonplace, especially with marijuana DUIs, drug DUIs. It can happen anytime, any place. And these people are putting people in Santan Valley at risk and all over Pinal County. In my experience, when I've contacted drivers who are under the influence by marijuana, they tend to be driving above the posted speed limit and they have no clue that they're doing so. Based on what I'm seeing, man, you are under the influence of marijuana, okay? You should not be driving, okay? So you're gonna be placed under arrest for driving while under the influence. As long as you don't give us a reason to put you in jail, we're gonna do what we gotta do, okay? And then we're gonna send you home. Yeah, of course. All right, you're his dad? Are you also his dad? Okay, all right. Were you in the car? No. no all right. Good work. Hey, is this your dad? Okay. What ends up happening is right now he's under arrest for a DUI. Okay? DUI? Yeah, for a DUI. He's been hitting the vape pen is what it's been doing. So what what happens is this. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're here because now we can turn him over to you. We can uh, Let me verify with the other deputy to make sure. Uh, but we'll probably let you guys take the truck and everything. Okay? I just got to double check. But what's going to happen is he's going to our substation right over here. He's going to get processed. He's going to do some paperwork. Uh, we're going to do the samples we got to do. And as long as he doesn't give us a reason to put him in jail, he's going to be cited and released. How fast was going? 70. And a, 20, and a 50 mile per hour zone. So he's going 20 over. And that's what caught my attention. And then immediately when I contacted him, he had pale face, dazed look on his face. It's getting more and more common, especially with marijuana. People don't realize the intoxicating effects that marijuana has on the body. They think just because it's been made legal for anyone 21 or older that they can smoke and then go drive not realizing that it is impairing their ability to correctly manage their speed maintain their lane or whatever the case may be and in this particular case he had no clue what he was doing was actually affecting other drivers